Hey, thanks for taking a few minutes to check out this video. This will help you to be better prepared and know what to expect when we go fly. First of all, let's just deal with the legal stuff. Yep, I built this airplane. At least my family and I built a substantial portion of it, and as a result, the FAA requires me to let you know that this does not meet the regulations for quote unquote standard aircraft. And because I built this plane, I also know how thin the metal is that's holding it all together. So just be careful when you're walking around the plane. And when you're stepping up on the wing to get in and out, only put your feet on those black strips. Getting in and out of the airplane can be a bit challenging, so I asked Addie to demonstrate. Notice how she grabs onto the opening to help pull herself up onto the wing, and then again holds onto the opening as she steps onto the seat and slides down into the cockpit. Once you're comfortable in your seat, I'm gonna ask that you put your seatbelt on. It works just like the seatbelt in your car. I'm also gonna give you a headset so that we can communicate in flight. You'll wanna put that foam piece as close to your mouth as you can and speak loudly. If you can't hear yourself in the headset, I can't hear you either. If you're new to flying in small airplanes, you might be surprised to learn that you have full flight controls on the co-pilot side of the plane. So just be aware of the control stick, the levers, and the rudder pedals at your feet. We'll have plenty of time to chat when we get up in the air, but it is important that I'm able to focus when I'm going through my checklists, talking to anybody on the radio, and especially during takeoff and landing. The most helpful thing that you could do during those critical phases of flight is to keep your eyes open for other traffic and obstacles. In the unlikely event of an emergency, do your best to remain calm. We train for things like this, but your panicking is not going to help the situation. Additionally, I will probably give you this card and ask you to help me go through the appropriate checklists. If for some reason I would become unable to fly the plane, there are a few things that you need to know. First of all, on the back of your control stick is a trigger. Pull that trigger to communicate with anybody who can hear you on the radio. Next, in the middle of the panel is a blue button that says LVL. Pushing that button engages the autopilot and causes the plane to fly straight and level. Also, on the screen in front of you is a small button with a letter D and an arrow through it. Pushing and holding that button will activate the smart light feature, which allows the autopilot to descend towards the nearest airport. If there is not an airport within glide range, it will descend the airplane straight ahead. Lastly, in the event that a safe landing is not feasible, pulling this red handle will deploy a ballistic parachute that is designed to bring the entire airframe down to the ground. We will review a few more things when you show up for your flight, but thanks for taking the time to watch this video. Flying is safe and fun, but it's better to be safe than sorry. I'm truly looking forward to flying with you real soon.